you can get an infinite supply of caps in Fallout 4 and in this video I will show you how. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. In order to perform this glitch, you will need the second rank in the local leader perk. This means that you will need to have a charisma skill of at least 6 and you will need to be at at least level 14 in order to be able to meet the requirements to perform this glitch. Once you have two ranks in the local leader perk, what you want to do is go into any settlement and build a trading stand. So open the workshop menu, go into stores and then select the first store and just build a standard trading stand. Now, as a result of building this trading stand, you would have noticed that we need to have 300 bottle caps to do this. And once we built the stand, we have now effectively lost 300 bottle caps. So at the moment, I have a total of eight caps. Once you have built a trading stand, to perform this glitch, what we need to do is scrap this trading stand and store it at the same time. So if I select the scrap button, you will see that what will happen is if we were to scrap it, it would return 150 bottle caps. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. And if I press the store button instead, then I can simply store the item. So I will go ahead and store it. Now, as a result of storing it, you will notice that I can simply build it again and it won't cost me anything. And the reason it's not going to cost me anything is because I'm building the same one again. Effectively, I'm just moving it about. The glitch here is what we want to do is scrap and store this trading stand at the same time. And to do this, what we need to do is while we are selecting the trading stand, we want to press the scrap button a moment before and holding down the store button. And if we do it correctly, both windows should be available at the same time. And as a result, we will get back 150 caps, but we will also store it at the same time. So with that, let's try to press the scrap button followed by and holding down the store button. And if you do it right, right now, you should see two windows. Now again, it's important, at this very moment, you should not be pressing the scrap button, but you should be holding down the store button. While the store button is still held down, go ahead and press your scrap button, so that would be A, and then let go of your store button and simply press the yes option on this store menu. So now you will notice that if you look on the right hand side, Previously, where I only had eight caps, I now have 150 caps. But if you look at where it says trading stand, I have one stored in my inventory. So what I've done effectively is I've scrapped this trading stand and stored it at the same time. So go ahead and place this trading stand. And again, notice I still have 158. So what I will do is try to perform this one more time. And what should happen is that I should now get again an additional 150 caps and store it at the same time. And with that, I will scrap it and then I will store it. And you can continue to use this glitch for as long as you like, effectively getting you a lot of caps. Once you've made enough caps using the trading stands, you can then move on to some of the more expensive ones, such as the armor stand. If we then press the scrap button on the armor stand, you will notice that this particular stand will return 250 caps, 100 caps more. The whole idea of this caps glitch is that you start off with the more cheaper stands and then move on to the more expensive ones as you return on bottle caps by using the scrap and store mechanics. This infinite caps exploit will ensure that you never run out of caps. However, getting to level 14 so that you can get that second point in the local leader perk might be a problem. Click on the video you see on the screen now to learn how to use the infinite XP glitch in Fallout 4 so that you can quickly level up to level 14 as soon as you leave Vault 111.